everyone welcome back to nays daily today i'm going to be showing you guys how to wrap a loner set or trays on um, in the close-up video because the last one i did was far off so you did not get to see it deeply so i'd already put the wrap down and now i'm just i just put in my blue tray liner the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to put this ages i mean to put this ages so they can help support the tray when i put it in the reason to put this is because um if you put this on without the if you put the tray in here without putting these edges it's going to tear the wrap and as a result of that it's going to make it um unsterile so that is why that is put in there so the next thing i just i just did was i put in my tray um i'm going to i'm going to open remember I always say first thing first make sure all your instruments are clean guys it looks like i did not place the uh, those ages well um i've forgotten how the cord is but if in case anybody remembers you put it down in the comment section or oh, while i'm editing the video i promise to put it i write it under so you guys can get to know the name i just don't know why it skipped my mind so guys um sorry i've been doing voice voice overs lately the reason is because i film in the department and it's really noisy come the noise there's a lot of noise coming from the instruments i mean sorry come from the instruments and as well as the machines are in there so the next thing we're going to do is to um separate the sets we start from the bottom set making sure everything is clean and as i always say indicators first i just put in that one so guys this is a close-up you can really see what is happening in the set or the things i'm really doing in the set it's unlike the other one the last video i did it was it was far off and you could not see like you could not see what was happening in the set so this is detailed and you can see everything that is going on so i'm just going to pick i'm just picking up my instruments making sure everything is clean looking through all the holes because hey it's always very important that you have to make sure it's always very important that you look through your instruments because especially for these loan assets they come from other hospitals and you know they don't always clean them well so you just have to do your own due diligence by making sure everything is clean you don't want to get caught in the middle of whatever is happening so just do your part and yeah just do your part and then you leave the rest because imagine this being the first a first case in the morning and then a doctor or a surgeon opening opens opens one of the set and find any dirty oh my god it's going to mess up the department that whole day anyways that was an aside so yeah guys just make sure everything is clean as i always say and uh, hey before i forget guys if you have any video suggestions do not forget to to mention them down in the comment section as i always say the comment section is yours to use guys please make sure you use it i'm here because you guys are out there you know and thank you guys so much for the support it's been really massive i appreciate you guys see the love has really been too much thank you and it's not only the fact that you guys watch you guys comment you guys give me ideas you know I mean, there's nothing more I can ask for. I mean, you guys are the real MVPs. Thank you guys so much. So after um looking, after going through all the instruments, all of them were clean. And now I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the instruments. So the first thing I do is I use the bottom part. I don't really, I really, I don't think I'll really be able to explain this one. But guys, just watch and please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe, guys. Please tell people to tell people about this channel. You know, tell somebody to tell somebody. Or better still, bring somebody so that another person can bring somebody. <laughs> guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a, do give it a thumbs up. So right now, I just use a tip for steam, for high steam. We always, for high steam sterilization, we always make sure we use the white tape because that is the one that is meant for high steam. And I'm just going to wrap in and push in that other flip that was out nicely. I'm just going to push it in and I'm going to use my um, steam tape to put it to, to hold it down or to, yeah, tape it. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Please guys. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you all on my next one. Much love.